Good morning and welcome to another edition of the APSA Business Connect series. We're so glad you can join us this morning as we take a look at something that is quite critical to our lives and quite essential to our lives as well. The APSA Business Connect series is our way of bringing our purpose to life, which is actually to help you get things done and bring your possibilities to life. And this morning, we are going to look at how we can bring your possibilities to life in terms of housing. So we're talking about housing. Um, why wait till retirement? And to do that with me this morning is Prosper Akoto, our head of lending and credit cards. Um, Prosper, you are welcome. Thank you, Cyril. And a very good morning to all viewers connecting live with us on Facebook. Thank you, Great, Cyril. great. So, Prosper, we'll be coming back to we'll talk a little bit more about housing and how we can achieve this um, in an appropriate way. But before that, I just want to remind you that the Business Connect series has been going on for a while now. So this year, we have a lot of them. Each month, we have a, one session. There are many, many videos online that you can still look at. We've talked to many experts in areas that would impact your business. So don't forget to check online to, I mean, if you missed any of the sessions, you can still go back and glean some insights from them. Um, and as we go on with today's presentation as well, I encourage you to post your questions online. And once we are done with discussing the main issues, I think Prosper would take his time to respond to these questions that you have posted so that your questions would be answered. Um, but Prosper, to start with, a lot more young people would like to own houses and all that. But what is the housing situation in Ghana? We keep hearing of housing deficit and all that from many partners. What is the housing situation in Ghana? Thank you, Cyril. So um, the housing situation in Ghana, we have a huge housing deficit in Ghana, about 1.7 million uh, housing unit deficits where demands have stripped supply, absolutely. And we, we need to actually bridge this gap by at least building about 200,000 houses a year to be able to bridge this gap within eight to 10 years period. Wow, okay, okay. So that makes it very important to, if you're a young person, to be considering how you can own your own home, right? Exactly. And to add to that, uh, we have so many challenges facing some of the young people also. And we have about 90% of public sector workers, for instance, currently, who may not be able to afford a house. About 50% of former sector workers cannot make a, a mortgage commitment because of some of the challenges that we have within the market space. And that's where APSA is coming to this space to solution our value customers and to bring possibilities to life. Yeah. Thank you very much, Prosper. So um, you, you talked about, uh, briefly about mortgage, you mentioned mortgage. Uh, maybe to start with, since we are talking about housing, um, can you just tell us what mortgage is? I know many people know the word, many people know it, but can you just explain what is a mortgage? A mortgage simply is a secured loan facility that is taken by a borrower from a lender to purchase a home or a house um, where the two parties, the borrower and the lender, will sign an agreement and the borrower will turn in the value of the property as a collateral against the facility. Usually, these mortgage facilities are offered over a longer period because of the value involved. Uh, thank you. Okay. Um I, I remember um, my daddy building and taking a very long time to build and all that. The process is quite slow and everything, doing things in various, uh, various stages and all that. Why should I consider or someone consider taking a mortgage facility instead of uh, maybe using their own cash to either buy or even build? 
Yeah, so we've heard all that uh, people say that they would prefer to use their own cash uh, to buy a house instead of taking a mortgage facility. But that's why we are here today to advise our people to uh, have a change of mind. Because uh, if instead of using a lump sum cash to buy your own house, it's better to invest that cash and then take a mortgage facility. Because if you do so, you will get better returns in taking a mortgage and investing in your cash. Um, if you decide to uh, invest on a monthly basis because you are using your cash to buy a house, the returns on that cannot compare to the high returns that you will get in taking a mortgage and investing in your cash. So I would advise that people should rather go for a mortgage facility. In addition to that also, um, the customer will benefit from uh, uh, interest, uh, 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 non-taxable interest income as well, in the sense that uh, int mortgage interest is tax deductible, which means that the interest you are paying on your mortgage facility will not attract uh, uh, any tax on it, which means your taxable income, the interest will be deducted before they apply the tax. And But if you use your own cash, you continue to pay tax on your whole taxable income. And that cannot be compared. So you need to make some savings on your uh, income by taking a mortgage facility. Mm, this is quite insightful. So yeah. you can actually manage your money better with mortgage. Um, yes. If I hear you, that's what you're trying to say. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So now we, we've also heard of many stories where people um, wait till retirement before they use their um, retirement funds or something to um, buy a home and all that. Um, how does that resonate with you? Um, I mean, using your retirement money to buy a home. Um, I will advise um, our Ghanaian workers uh, to rather go for a mortgage now instead of waiting for retirement instead of using your lump sum that is paid you out of your pension or savings that you've made to buy a house, I will advise that you take a mortgage whilst you are in active service. Because when you take a mortgage facility right now and you are making payment, you are building equity for yourself. What I mean you are building equity, anytime you make that payment, the value that you are paying become yours. And you can always draw on that mortgage, even on retirement. So when you retire, we normally tie the uh, repayment of this mortgage facility to your retirement age. So by the time you uh, go on retirement, you finish paying your mortgage facility. Then you own the house. The total value, the equity of that house belongs to you. And you can draw equity from it. What I mean you can draw equity, either you sell it out or you decide to use that same facility to take an equity facility, which we call equity release from the bank. You can release up to about 400,000 CDs cash and use it to do business in your retirement because you don't want to sit down in the house boring and all that, but you want to use it to do additional business. If you want to reconstruct or build another house with, within your compound, you can do so. And APSA will offer you up to 3 million Ghana CD, for instance, to be able to do a, a, a construction within your own compound. Yeah. Okay. That, that's exciting news to hear. Um, mm. So drilling down to our discussion for this morning in terms of housing and retirement, you, you are advising that you rather take an action now to own a home than wait till retirement because the benefits of owning now far out ways when you wait till um, you retire. Yes, to, to, to even add to my earlier submissions, um, the lump sum that you have paid on retirement, you can invest that lump sum and get better returns instead of using it to buy a house. You, at that age, you'll be taking care of your medical bills because you are no longer in employment where your employer is taking care of that. Maybe you like to go for vacation and all that. Maybe you want to be paying some fees for your children and you need to actually take a decision now rather than waiting till that time where you'll be bringing a, a huge cost on yourself, a huge investment, which is to buy a house at that time 
and then you wait for nothing. So it's always good to buy a house now by taking a mortgage facility. Okay, great. So um, some, some people may ask or argue, you know, the economy in which we are, I mean, things are um, tough for people. Um, and most of the time, if you're a young person, um, it looks like it's much more easier to rent a house than even go for a loan, um, as you said, mortgage to buy a, a, a home, a house. Um, how, how would you, um, what would be your advice for young people actually who probably are renting now or who think it is much more convenient and easier to rent now? Obviously, there are some people who may not qualify for a mortgage facility. I advise those ones, they have to rent. Uh, and there are certain, a section of customers that may decide to rent because of their peculiar situation. People like uh, experts, for instance, who maybe are working on contracts and they want to just stay in for two years, three years. They may not want to take a facility to build a house or to buy a house. But majority of the workers, I would advise that they go for a mortgage facility to own their own homes rather than going for renter. Because as you rent, you're not building any equity. You are not building any value in that property. It's good to take a mortgage facility. And as you start making payment from the word go, you'll be building equity. And mind you, um, mortgage payments get much more easier with time. Especially because if you take a mortgage, let's say you are age 35 and you are taking a mortgage facility now over maybe 20 years period. Within five years or six thereabouts, you realize that the mortgage repayment are no longer impacting your budget that much. You even make the payment without knowing because the repayment will stay around the same value but your salary adjustments get increased over a period of time and so the impact will not be significant on you any longer so it's always good to uh, take a mortgage facility and own your own home rather than renting so if you can afford it's always better for you to do so what we are doing in APSA is to collaborate with estate developers to ensure that housing units are made much more affordable for our value customers and so we are here to advise the people who are renting to rather focus on owning their own home uh, by applying for an APSA mortgage. And we'll support them accordingly to uh, achieve that dream. Renting also, if you rent, your landlord at any point in time may have a change of mind to say you should move out because his children are coming down from abroad or because he has personal reasons and he wants you to go out, he's ready to give you the rest of your money, all those challenges. You know, moving houses is very difficult sometimes because the next landlord is going to demand a lump sum again for you to pay over a two-year period. Why will you go for a personal loan to pay that? Why would you take a mortgage now and you don't fall under such situation? And you are also building equity, as I explained earlier, the value which you can draw on uh, in the future by either taking equity release which will help you to do business. So it's always good to own your, take a mortgage instead of going for rental. Unless otherwise, you are not able to afford it. Yeah. Great, great. So young people, um, if you are working and you can afford it, it is always best, as uh, Prosper said, you'll be building equity for yourself. And something you can even draw on more than just um, renting, which doesn't give you any value um, at all. So let's take on a, a note of that. But uh, Prosper, how can a, a, a person, some, a salaried worker, um, take advantage of their tier three pension to um, get a mortgage? Um, is there any linkage? How is that possible? Yeah, sure. So the law permits uh, banks to leverage on customers' pension funds to offer mortgage facilities to uh, the people, the citizens. And we 
identify a huge uh, problem in the housing uh, market recently, where people are not able to raise their equity contribution or their contribution because banks will not finance 100% for you. You need to make a contribution yourself. In APSA, we ask that you do at least 10% contribution for us to finance 90%. And I would say that APSA is the uh, leading bank in that regard because most banks will demand about 20 to 15, 15 to 20% uh, from you. But APSA will require only 10% deposit for us to finance 90%. Now we realize that these, even these 10%, most people are not able to raise it. And we don't want a situation where you go for a separate loan to meet this requirement. So what APSA is doing is that we will leverage on your uh, tier three pension fund and finance 100% for you. Whilst that investment will continue to grow for you, APSA is financing 100% for you. So that's what we do in APSA. And we want to encourage all the people who have such investment to approach us. And it's not only the tier three. If you have any investment with us or you have investment elsewhere, you move it to APSA, we can solution you adequately by leveraging on your investment and finance 100% for you. And that is available currently. Yeah. Okay, great, that sounds great. So even though we would finance up to 90%, which is the highest um, you, you get so far um, for you, we are even taking other steps to ensure that you, your 10% your is taken care of. So you don't need to cough up uh, money from somewhere if you are already on the pension scheme, or as you said, you have an investment that you can um, use as more of like equity in this sense. Absolutely. Great, Absolutely. great, great. Gentlemen, if you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you just joined us, I've been talking to our head of um, lending and credit cards in the person of Mr. Prosper Akoto. And we've been talking about housing. Why wait till retirement? Um, before you own a home, whilst you can have it now and build equity. Um, if you've not posed any questions yet, or if you have questions that you would like to be answered, please post them on our Facebook page. And after this question, um, after the next question, we'll take a little break. When we come back, we'll be responding to your um, questions that you've posted. So let me ask this very interesting. I know you've talked a little bit about what we are offering or what you are offering customers, how you are making life um, much better and bringing their possibilities to life in terms of housing. But why should someone consider um, taking a mortgage from us? What, what are the benefits to um, our customers or anyone who would like to take um, a mortgage from APSA? So in APSA, we work with uh, speed. We also ensure that we are not just ticking the box but to offer you a facility that suits your peculiar situation. So we do bespoke uh, arrangements to meet your uh, needs as well. And we have professionals. We don't want a situation where you run into challenges, doing your own searches and reports from uh, Lands Commission and all that. We have very qualified people who do all those things on your behalf. Uh, we have very good credit underwriters that will support you. And within uh, 24 to 48 hours, we are able to tell you how much you qualify for. If you visit any APSA branch today and you want to know how much mortgage facility you qualify for, they will tell you instantly. And that is very key, very essential. Our systems are very smooth and unique and you satisfy your needs. And that will help you to take a decision, a family decision, because mortgage decisions are very, a, a, a huge decision, so you need to go back home and discuss with your family and then take a family decision. So in APSA, we support you. We ensure that our collaboration with our estate developers also support you. You can also bring your own estate developers. You can buy from anybody outside the recommended uh, developers that APSA is working with currently, but we can assure you that the prices that our developers are offering are very good. So we are not leaving you 
uh, in a vacuum where you are just looking for your own developers and suffering and with huge cost. We are, we are working with these developers, supporting them in different ways to ensure that the prices they are offering to our value customers are very much more affordable and are within their income levels as well. Okay. So I um, think our time is up, viewers. Oh, so unfortunate. I know there's so much more we can talk about, um, especially relating to this and housing. Unfortunately, um, we're running out of time. So we would call it a day here, but the video is still online. If you were not able to join us from the beginning, you can start, you can encourage your friends and family to also view so that they can get all this insightful um, message, uh, information that has been shared with us um, this morning. But we are not leaving you. You can always get in touch with us and we'll respond to your questions as well. So till we meet, next month for another session of the APSA Business Connect series. We say thank you and have a good weekend. <laughs>